so this is the function generator that we use in our lab uh, this will supply the ac voltage sources uh, that we need for our experiment so this function generator uh, you are already used to using function generator from simulations but uh, this is the real deal here that we use in our lab uh, this model is manufactured by gw instec and this is the model GFG8250A. This uh, function generator is uh, capable of uh, producing frequencies up to 5 MHz and um, it will supply uh, with highest uh, amplitude of 20 volt peak to peak. This is the probe uh, that is connected to this function generator and we will connect this to our circuit to get the required AC signals. Um, this probe has two wires, the black wire and the red wire and from the circuit diagram we will connect this red wire to the plus polarity and this black wire to the negative polarity. Uh, this button here, this is the power button, so to get this function generator working we need to press this power button to turn this on and then uh, this display this will uh, show uh, the frequency that is being supplied by this function generator. By default, you will see that the triangular wave is lit, lit up. So this uh, function generator by default supplies triangular wave. So when you are uh, connecting this to a circuit, make sure you are using the proper uh, signal source. So um, in this lab, in a 241 lab, we will be using sinusoid throughout. So you will press this sinusoid button to get the sinusoid signal. And this function generator supplies three types of sources, sinusoid, triangular and square. So you will press the respective button to get that uh, signal in the output. This panel here, this, this is used for uh, frequency ranging. So if you press this one, uh, one here, it will light up and you will uh, use this knob to adjust the frequency. You will notice that this uh, knob is labeled frequency. So when you rotate this knob, the frequency will be adjusted. So currently, this is the lowest uh, frequency that is supplied by this uh, function generator. It's 2.3724 hertz. Okay. As you rotate the knob, your uh, frequency will change and you can set it to a required level. So uh, each of each of this uh, uh, range button uh, supplies a certain uh, range of frequencies. So this 1 hertz button will supply from 1 to around 5 hertz. When you press this 10, uh, 10 button, 10 hertz button, then uh, you'll see that the frequency generator supplies from around 2 hertz to around 54 hertz. So as you uh, keep on increasing the uh, range, the highest output provided by this function generator increases. So when 100 is pressed, you'll get a highest output of 553 hertz. Now, um, when you go to this uh, 1K range, 1 kilo, kilohertz range, as you keep on increasing, you will see that after around uh, 990 hertz, the uh, display changes to 1.0693. Well, this is 1.0692 or 3 kilohertz. As you can see, if you there is a K lit up in this display. So uh, when this K symbol is lit up, uh, this signifies that output frequency is in kilohertz range. So it's 1.0685 kilohertz. As you rotate the knob, the uh, output frequency will increase. And you will set the frequency to your desired value by looking at this screen. This display uh, is pretty accurate. So you can uh, set your required frequency by looking at this uh, display.
One major difference between uh, simulation that we've been doing and this function generator is that you will be not be able to set the amplitude just like in simulation because in simulation we would just uh, set the value in multisim we would just double click the function generator and set the value set in our experiment but when you're using a function generator you'll have to adjust the uh, amplitude using this knob you will see that there is a, a label ampl this is the amplitude adjust this knob to uh, change the amplitude however you will not get the amplitude being supplied in this display this display does not uh, show the current amplitude value to get this amplitude value you will have to connect this output to the oscilloscope and you will get the reading from there